And I want to bring in ABC's senior justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas. Pierre, three separate events all have hallmarks of terror. As I watch our coverage, I'm amazed no victims were killed today. What are your sources saying about any possible links? Tom, sources don't believe the Minnesota case has any ties to the New Jersey and New York incidents. But authorities are actively investigating whether the New York and New Jersey bombings are connected. An extraordinary forensic investigation is underway to determine whether there are links. There is intense focus on cell phones apparently used in each attack. Make no mistake, this is an extremely tense moment for law enforcement. These three cases are a reminder that the country remains in a high-tempo threat environment where authorities are especially concerned about so-called lone wolves. And with ISIS claiming credit for inspiring the Minnesota stabbing, remember, the FBI has identified roughly 800 ISIS sympathizers across the country. In the New York area, these incidents also have really bad timing because the United Nations General Assembly is set to begin tomorrow. President Obama is joining more than 100 leaders from around the world descending on New York. So what was already a security headache is now wrapped in an extra layer of concern. Tom? And those thousand extra officers. All right, Pierre, thank you.